For this week's starting line, I'm Sarah Allen. There are many uses for unmanned aerial vehicles, also known as drones. For example, they can be used to deploy missile strikes by the military, monitor wildlife migration, and obtain unique perspectives for film and television. Law enforcement also use drones for surveillance purposes. Representative John Lesh, a DFLer from St. Paul, sponsors House File 1491 that would require law enforcement to have a court order before using a drone or without a court order in case of an emergency situation that involves an immediate threat to the life or safety of a person. Thank you, Representative Lesh, for talking to us about your bill. Can you describe the restrictions placed on law enforcement when using drones under your bill? The bill requires that law enforcement have a warrant uh, prior to using uh, drone information against an individual. It essentially makes clear that individuals have a reasonable expectation of privacy uh, in what they're doing uh, against uh, aerial surveillance or uh, surreptitious aerial surveillance, which I think is a reasonable thing to assume, um, but we don't wait for a court case to make that decision. We're making the determination as the legislature. What happens if there's like an immediate danger? Then are law enforcement able to use it even without a, a warrant? Yes, they are. And that is uh, already exists in existing Fourth Amendment law. Um, the exigent circumstances exception to, for example, um, the warrant requirement. If uh, someone is in danger or uh, something other, something bad has happened, the evidence can still be used or police can intervene. So in this instance, yes, it is, that would still be allowable. Why are you sponsoring this bill? Because of my experience uh, as a member of the Legislative Commission on Data Practices, um, but also as my past experience as the Chair of Civil Law and as a member of the Civil Law Committee, uh, I feel uh, as though our technology has surpassed our ability to have reasonable policy. Um, and people expect that they're going to be protected from unreasonable searches and seizures. And the proliferation of drone technology is just one type of technology that is starting to make people nervous about their susceptibility uh, to violations of their personal privacy. Uh, and we think we need a policy set forth in law. And in fact, law enforcement has been asking for this as well. Hand us some parameters. Uh, because we shouldn't just have the Wild West out there where you can fly a drone over somebody's swimming pool and there be no consequences or repercussions for it. Uh, so in this instance, uh, we think it's a reasonable uh, balance between people's privacy um, as well as legitimate government interests of conducting investigations. Last year the Minnesota legislature failed to pass comprehensive drone legislation. What type of support do you think there is this year? I think there's more support. Last year the, uh, the oxygen in the room, so to speak, was uh, burned up by discussion about cell phone use. Uh, one of my bills from last year was um, cell phone tracking coupled with drone, the drone bill. Um, and the drone piece was excised out of there uh, for several reasons, but including specifically is legislators' inability to deal with all that information. Well, what are we going to do about drones? We had people coming in saying, don't regulate drones. I might use a drone someday. And we asked, well, for what are you going to use it for? Well, I don't know, but they're really handy. In fact, MnDOT, there were an employee from MnDOT came in and said, we might use drones someday for highways. Um, <laughs> And I asked why, and they couldn't tell me why. So in order to get a better handle on that, we needed a little bit more time, and I think this year is the time. Where do you see your bill going in the legislative process? So my bill will go to civil law. It will, uh, I expect it will also go to uh, public safety and judiciary in the House. It will sit primarily in the, uh, in the Senate and judiciary as well as in public safety and transportation. So uh, between those two, uh, committees, I think there are reasonable-minded people uh, with whom I can craft a good compromise. And in fact, the, the uh, Senate author is the chair of public safety and transportation in the Senate, so um, I feel like uh, he's in a good position to have that dialogue with his colleagues in the Senate. 
Coming up next week, we'll have a new bill on starting line and look to see if there's any updates on Representative Lesh's drones bill. And remember, hundreds of bills get introduced every legislative session in Minnesota. All of them first have to cross the starting line.